Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne hackman Carty. I'm getting asked on a regular basis how to help businesses during this COVID crisis. And I just want to talk to you a little bit about what my opinion is on how you can best support businesses. So as you know, when a disaster happens, almost one in four businesses won't reopen. In the case of COVID-19, I'm pretty sure this is going to be larger. And so it's very important that we support businesses now. So when government and organizations are looking to support businesses, what should they be looking for? In my opinion, there's two ways to help businesses. You either help them increase their revenue or decrease their expenses. It's pretty simple. And so in order to do that, one of the ways you can do it on the expense side is looking at all the various expenses that a business has. So it could be staffing, that's usually the most expensive part of a business, taxes, license fees, it could be a mortgage if you own a building, looking at your utilities, your various types of services, your insurance premiums, uh, capital expenses, it could even be things like your office supplies, marketing, advertising, perhaps conferences that you normally attend, professional services that you have to uh, engage with, like an IT support or financial, even shipping delivery or your vehicle and travel expenses. So these are all the kinds of things that a business needs to look at first. So if you're a government that's looking to support businesses, here's another way you can target your programs. Is there something that a business incurs an expense uh, that you can help waive or defer or help um, lessen the burden on the expense side. On the other side of the equation, you can actually increase revenues. I show this chart because it really shows how a business can increase their revenues. They can look at new markets. They can look at developing new products and services um, that are not traditionally what they've been engaged with. They can also look at uh, different markets as far as uh, new markets, ex export opportunities, a diversification strategy. So, uh, you know, looking at new markets, new products. So these are just various scenarios that a business can go through in order to figure out how are they going to increase revenues in order to be sustainable and see profit in the near future. We've really seen a lot of uh, businesses lately uh, during the COVID crisis uh, looking at unique ways to help them increase their revenues. So for example, some craft breweries are looking at um, developing or producing hand sanitizer. They have the production facilities, they just need to change the product that they're actually developing. Then you've got Amazon, you've got, they're doing very well, but it's companies that are looking at selling online. And traditionally, some companies haven't looked at this. So you're gonna see a lot more companies looking at how do they get that e-commerce digital platform going so they can increase the revenues. You also see a number of communities looking at buy local programs where they're helping support local businesses, whether it's through uh, providing gift baskets or gift certificates, just helping businesses get cash flow in the short term. And you're also seeing online delivery where, where a lot of, it could be restaurants, it could be other forms of uh, products, but you're seeing people order and getting them delivered to their homes it, as, because they can't go out. So these are just a few ways that uh, companies can look at increasing their revenues and decreasing their expenses. So I encourage you, if you're a business, to really think about how you can be more creative in the future because in the long run, all of our businesses are going to be have to going to have to be transformed uh, to take advantage of the new economy that's going to result. But there is hope and there's lots of opportunity. So I encourage you to, to take this advice to heart. And I look forward to seeing how uh, creative businesses can be.